happening, you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. These vaccines are highly, highly effective. Vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick. They're really, really good against variants. Everyone who takes the vaccine is not just protecting themselves, but reducing their transmission uh, to other people and allowing society to get back to normal. Get your first shot, and when you're due for your second, get your second shot. Our key goal is to stop the transmission, to get the immunity levels up so that you get almost no, almost no uh, infection going on whatsoever. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. If you're vaccinated, you're not going to be hospitalized, you're not going to be in an ICU unit, and you're not going to die. If you are fully vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask. Anyone who is fully vaccinated can participate in indoor and outdoor activities, large or small, without wearing a mask or physical distancing. But what they can't do anymore is prevent transmission. You know, we didn't have vaccines that block transmission. We got vaccines that help you with your health, but they only slightly reduce the transmissions. We need a new, a new way of doing the vaccine. The level of virus in the nasopharynx of a person who's vaccinated and infected is the same level as the level of virus in the nasopharynx of an unvaccinated person. Reports from our international colleagues, including Israel, suggest increased risk of severe disease amongst those vaccinated early. And if you look at Israel, mm -hmm. which has always been a month to a month and a half ahead of us, they are seeing a waning of immunity, not only against infection, but against hospitalizations and to some extent death. A booster might actually be an essential part of the primary regimen that people should have. The plan is for every, every adult to get a booster shot. It's uh, clearly one of the best investments uh, I've ever been involved in.